Today's sponsors are Heather Glenn Springs Woods. It is a lovely community center. We're happy to have them here on the, uh, as a sponsor. And want to thank you much. It's like community, you know, retirement home sort of thing like that. And uh, uh, I know some folks staying over there. They seem to like it just fine. And some, I know some folks have put some people in there. Says it's, it's all right. And uh, just to go ahead and let you know beforehand, though, just it, it, uh, it is against policy when you sign those papers that, you know, cannot bring you back. So what? They can't bring you back if you, you mean fall like over, get a heart attack, anything like that. I mean, you that's just the way it is. You, you just need to get what? one of those. Well, you need to get one of those medical alert buttons thing just... You need to make your own arrangements. That's right, because they can't be... Hands off. Anybody. Hands off, that's just policy. That's way it Other than that, and you know, things, that's just the way things are. They, they don't hold it against them. But, uh, don't hold it against... So if I put my grandma in there, yep. and she falls down, has heart attack, breaks her hip, they're going to leave her on the dining room floor. They aren't allowed to... They ain't just going to leave her there. They'll call 911 for it, whatever, but it'd be best if you did it. They may not get around that. So they may not even call 911 you for one of those medical alert, wear around your neck, hit that button, and that's, you know, that's good for everybody. That means you take care of yourself, and they, they uh, don't get them in no trouble uh, either. So well, why the what, hell? Why don't you just live with your damn family How old then? is your grandma? I, she's like 75. Well, you know, you can't run around. You get a certain age and... I know she ain't going to live forever, but I don't want to put her in a it, place where they just in one of those walk pl- around her on the floor. If you in one of those places, it's about that time anyway. Why don't they Hell, just... if I was in one, I'd sign something... Well, number one, if I'm in one, if I ever have to wind up one of those, do not, yeah, I'd sign something myself, don't re- resuscitate, because if I'm at that point, I don't even want to. It ain't they resuscitating. Me, if I, if they I'm in a home, up. I'm telling you right now, if I'm in a home somewhere and I fall down, he'd pick something big up and, and put it on top of me, whatever, because I don't want to be living that way. Hell, but I you take know, care of you right now. No, hell no, you won't. You ain't going to have nothing to do with it. Well, no, you just to. said, so when you I don't want home, to do it nothing like that. Why can't I do it? Nobody else going to do it. I don't want to have. Heather Glenn Wood Springs ain't going to do it. I'm just saying, it's a, up to that point, it's a nice place. And like I said, if you up in that age anyway, you kind of know you're sitting around waiting for it anyway. It is Why a nice want, place. I mean, from the outside, a, I've never been in, but I hear the Glenn, tennis yeah. court is nice, and I heard the food's pretty good. Yeah, sauna and stuff like that, some sort of wave pool, whatever. Not wave pool, just something you, you know. Water for old water people. Water for old people walk around in. Yeah, get their le- legs. But, you know, we slip, fall in that pool. You ain't getting out of there. They wait there for the ain't no pool guy to fish you out of the filter. He, they they have him sitting in there, and he's sitting up there at the whistle and all that. But just to give a heads up to the other employees, make some fail. I don't know why somebody may some, be dead in there, so you just to the you he blows the whistle and, they, here. and the orderly runs down the hall and they call nine one one, something like that. But like I said, just gets you one of them medical alert that helps everybody helps you out and helps him out. And don't get nobody in trouble. So yeah. That's my sponsor there. Heather Heather, Gl- Heather, Heather Glenn Woods, Woods Glenn Springs. Springs. Yes. Thanks for being a sponsor. Also a sponsor on today's podcast is Wet Breads. Uh, used to be known as Mikey Sandwiches and Subs. Oh, I know Mikey Sandwiches and Subs. That's a good place. But he changed right the now. name to Wet Breads. Wet Breads. So go down there and get you a good sandwich. Y'all know Mikey. It's just a name change. He just wanted to get on here and let everybody know. Their bread's always real moist or something. Well, he would put, he'd serve you up a good hot sandwich yeah. and put it in that styrofoam container. And, and he started worrying about it because by the time you get back to the office or the the job site or wherever you're taking your food, you yeah. open it up, a hot sandwich made, and condensation in there made the bread wet. Bread wet, yeah. And he'd go like, oh, you know what? I, I'm going to put just give you another container Maybe I'm trying to work on He's trying to invent a new container. I remember, no, he had those new containers, and then the bread was dry, and I didn't like it as much. Well, I that's like, what everybody said. Yeah, so I wet. like it wet. I like my bread good and wet, and especially got juice on it, like he makes that stuff. 
got all sorts of meat and everything on uh -huh. there. Just gets it dripping. Yeah. That's how I like my bread. I like it wet. So yeah, I'm you wouldn't with think that it. And, the, and just the moisture, like you see it, just wet. Can you say water. wet bread? He he said people come in there and said this wet. He said sometimes he gets that bread so wet. He said nobody's gonna want to eat this. It looks just like a a, a mess in there. But he said I, people come in there and say this ain't wet enough. Sometimes that's the best sandwich right there. Well, right, that makes sense. He's making that change. The wetter, the better. Yes, yeah, so and now he's just calling it wet bread. Wet he's bread, got a yeah. song. It's uh. Uh, get that bread wet, good and damp, till it's wet enough to moisten the stamp. What? I just made that up, but I hey, you, he Mikey, if you no listening, you can have that song like that. Hell, it's, he said they got a sign in there. He said if your bread ain't wet enough to moisten the stamp, you get your money back. Well, that's a deal, there. But the I, post well, office I, I ain't going to be I around. wouldn't be concerned about the stamp. I just want good and wet. Delicious. People love wet bread. I mean, they, when you ask somebody, do you like wet bread? They go, no. And then you give them one of Mikey's good wet bread sandwiches, and they go, you Change know what? That tone, yeah. I didn't know. Yep. So that's uh, wet breads. Uh, proud for them to be a sponsor. And if you slip and fall and you're old, Mikey will fucking do CPR hey, on you. Hey, hey. Because he is a decent human being. All right, enough. And that bread is awesome. Watch your mouth. Hey, look at there. You see him? Well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old-timey country down-home Red State Update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jackie's Market in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. Hi, Aaron's Jackie Rolls. And I'm Dunlap. Was that a ghost? Oh, wait, no ghost. Someone carrying on out there. I heard, I swear to God, I heard a, a ghost. A, a person don't make that sound. That's some kids out in the back in the dumpster. What are they doing in the dumpster? How do I get back in there? You know how kids are. Play and ghost. Was, I don't know if they're playing ghost. They get well, they, somebody was imitating a ghost. Scared the shit out of me. Oh, hell. Fucking kids. Watch your language. I know there's just kids playing. I don't know why they upset you so much. Are they you? trying to scare me. I'll I take my belt off them. and scare them. They don't know you're in here. Well, they're about to find out when I go back out and throw three or four kids out of the dumpster on All the ground right. and kick your they little All bony right, ass. enough. I'm not going to sit here and let somebody make fun of me. They, ain't make, they don't know you in here. They don't know who you are. They're out there playing game, whatever kids do. They I'll, don't know They don't know you in here. They I'll soak some hay you. and some gasoline and set it on fire and throw it in that dumpster. Oh, hell, you ain't going to do nothing. And then they'll get out of there. Oh. They sound like a ghost for real. All right. If ghosts were on fire. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the Red State Update Podcast. My name's Dunlap. It's my probably my best friend, Jackie Brawls. I, I mean, I got friends that are my own age, but that's something you say to like your grandma or an old person to make them feel better. All right, enough. Like, uh, you know, Jackie, you we I think we're real good friends. I mean, you have wisdom and you understand things, but really you wouldn't tell that old person stuff that's really going on in your All life. All right, enough. I don't want to know half of what's going on in your damn life anyway. It's the Selfish. same thing. They're so selfish. Greatest generation, my ass. But we're here to talk today about freedom. We try to talk about that every time we get on here. I thought that's part of the reason of doing it. Well, today we're going to talk about it for about 13 hours. What? I just want to throw my support behind Senator Rand Paul. Oh, yeah. And do a filibuster myself. Ain't so, no, no, they have to sit there and listen to him. Ain't nobody in their right mind going to sit here and listen to this for 13 hours. If you download a podcast, you are contractually obligated to no, listen to it. I don't know how It doesn't matter if it's, if it's an hour or 13. You got to listen to me talk. I ain't not sitting here for 13 damn hours. You got me to sit through a damn uh, four-hour Batman movie, and that was hell as it was. I ain't sitting here for 13 damn hours. Filibustering sounds fun, Jackie. You get to talk and eat candy. And 
you going to rob I, me of that? Two of my favorite things? You can sit there and do it right now if you want to, but not for 13 damn hours. Okay, Phil Buster begins now. Hey, I'd like to begin by quoting Thomas Jefferson, who uh, he, he said different things about freedom and uh, oh hell you i'd are. like to begin by quoting wiz khalifa he said we are young and wild and free wiz khalifa and that's what we're here to talk about today is freedom the freedom to get high with Snoop Dogg and all make a right. I, I, you, terrible you movie this, I, you about just, high school. All right, enough. On Netflix. I won't talk about no Snoop. All, all right, you. you're right. Filibustering's hard. I don't have friends that support me. The difference is he had a damn reason to filibuster. You just sitting here running at the mouth. He had something he's trying to do. Rand Paul knew what he's up to. He had enough of it. And I lent him my exactly. support. I, I, I had enough of it, too. I never did think much of him. I'll say right now. Well, oh, I, compared I, to his daddy, it's like his his daddy has convictions. And he, I mean, not legal convictions, none that I know of. Did they ever get him on any of that stuff? No. Back in his college at Aqua... I, Buddha, Belva. Right, that's Bel-Veda. Rand Paul. Yeah, that's yeah. what I talk about. You talk about his daddy. Yeah, I don't know who have any have either of them ever been arrested. Well, you can't arrest somebody for racism, not yet. Not yet, but give Obama another couple years. Well, I jails will it, be full. Wouldn't put it past him, and we don't know whether oh, Ron Paul did that for sure or not. Now, now he didn't. He just took so, some advertising money. That's We're all guilty did. of that. Well, everybody done that. Hell. So, I ain't saying he's a racist. They just, they sure did try to make him one. But at least he has convictions. Well, yeah. And I don't know if Rand Paul is as strong in the conviction department as his daddy. But he did stand up there for 13 hours. Yeah. That's that's saying something. Saying, don't let Obama send them drones to kill Jane Fonda. That's right. Don't it, let it kill anyone, not just her. Well, just not anyone, yeah. not Americans. Yeah. I, I like Jane Fonda just fine. I don't think the president should kill her. I ain't saying he should. I'm just saying her, everybody else, not just her. If anybody had the means and the money to send a drone to blow up Jane Fonda, I think Ted Turner would have done it a long time well, ago. Well, yeah. He would have figured out that. The motive, the bank account, probably be shaped like a damn buffalo. Jane Fonda be like, what's that flying buffalo doing coming towards me? Kaboom. All the way up. So Rand Paul filibustered for a long time. I, I like this about Rand Paul. It has confused everybody. A lot of liberals. Anything goes up against old Obama, I'm all for it. Like I said, I never cared much for him. Uh, you know, he, he shook his finger in old Clinton's place. Her face, which she 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 should have that should have happened. But before that, he didn't seem like much to me. Is it the hair? That's part of it. Yeah. Do you watch his Tea Party response to the State of the Union? I couldn't get through that. No, I, I no. Somebody told me it came on after. I didn't know it was happening until they said it. Well, I said, "What's he talking for?" And then they said, "You know, Tea Party." I was like, "Oh yeah." Here's something about Ron Paul nobody ever talks about, and that plays a huge part of his appeal. Uh, he's funny, like a funny little man, like a little little imp. Hey, funny looking, yeah. Like, his daddy is too. Both of them. They, they that. No, it's Ron Paul. That's what I'm saying. Like people like Ron Paul. Yeah. We wouldn't like him as much in his forties. We like him because he looks like Mister Mix's Pitalik from Superman. We like him because he looks like a... He looked like a nice little old fella. Like, a, oh, yeah, okay, here you go. Like a old. straight Leslie Jordan. Right. We like that's funny to look I, at, I, see him come, hey, everybody, oh, gold and silver. I mean, he's this far removed from a damn leprechaun. It's fun to look at him, but I wouldn't, like, 
how where, how it old is he? Like 80? How, it ain't just how he looks. It's some of the crazy stuff he says. Well, that's, that's funny, I mean, too. That's, that's that funny, too. Makes it like in those debates. Every time he come in, I say, well, look there. He don't want to win. You'd forget he was there because they wouldn't let him talk. And then when he, he talks... It's like uh, it, it's like they didn't always have Larry, Daryl, and Daryl on Newhart at first. Yeah, they saved them and they were awesome. Then by the end, they were really getting into like the Daryl's love lives. I don't like, remember overused them. Like I don't think we would like President Ron Paul start to get on our nerves after a while. Like you wouldn't want Happy Days to be I all about uh, Arnold. Well, no, and I wouldn't want no right. Hell, America knew better than that. Good Lord. But little, little him coming on every once in a while, that's good. But, like, first of all, you wouldn't like Ron Paul as much if he was, like, you know, hadn't started shrinking due to old age and he was, like, 40 years old and looked like a regular person. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. That's just a crazy person. Well, Ron Paul, he's getting, you know, everybody looking at his hair. He's up there and him trying to eat that candy. That's good to watch. Rand Paul. That's Rand Paul. Rand right? Paul. That's what I'm saying. Now, I, keep, I know you don't keep like saying, him. mixing them up. No. Ron Paul's the one you're talking about. We wouldn't like him in his 40s. That's right. why we don't like Rand Paul now. Because he's basically just his father, instead of adorably crazy, just boring. He doesn't even play up the crazy part. He acts like he's like really got something important to tell people. Like he's an actual senator. Like Ron Paul... He was never really elected to anything, was he? I mean, nobody would ever do that, did he? I mean, I, somehow I he was like a mascot. Like he got in. I kept him around. Right. It's like if the guy, the the San Diego chicken, if they he takes off the suit and starts playing ball, nobody wants that. They like him on the sidelines well, jumping yeah, around. Yeah. They wouldn't they wouldn't tolerate that. I hear no. what you're saying now. But Rand Paul getting up there 13 hours, that's what I'm saying. He's starting to get some attributes. I didn't watch all of it. Hell, nobody did. I tell you I'm talking about like him eating that candy and another thing, and he just kept, that's, that's kind of funny. There's somebody doing that. It's kind of funny. In a few years, he'll be he'll be funnier. I mean, if he sticks around, if he's got longevity and he's yeah, around I, 30, 40 years, he'll be hilarious. He needs to start doing this all the time because he, you know he's going to because doesn't nobody think much of him, and then he did this, and everybody, everybody him. loves him. I'll Liberals be, love him. I'll be looking, you know, for more thirteen-hour filibusters. He'll be doing all the time now. Now he knows everybody going like, look at me, well, now, look at me. Everybody else is going to try to do one, try to get some of that Rand Paul magic. But then they just ripping him off. Yeah, nobody's going to pay. Is there anybody else? Anybody would even care about stand up there talk for thirteen hours? And Marco Rubio got up there to help Rand Paul out. Yeah. And he starts talking uh, about rappers and stuff. I didn't understand none of that, but, you know, he can talk about whatever he wants. He likes to, as soon as, that's his go-to thing. When he's unscripted in front of a microphone, he's going to name drop a rapper. Don't ask him any of their songs to name any lyrics or anything, but he, he wants people to know that he genuinely likes rap music. Well, he just trying to That be... he knows the names of people who perform rap music. Well, yeah. Well, he didn't rap. I'm waiting for him to start rapping one day. Oh, hell, that's the last thing. I, I want a 13-hour fail buster rap. Well, my name is Marco, and I'm here to say... <laughs> It's him drinking water. I, I wouldn't put it past somebody to be doing that sometime soon, and I ain't looking forward to it. What to rap in a filibuster? I ain't go. I don't like rap music. I know people like it. Youngins like it. People like it. I I don't like it. Cause you racist. No, it ain't got nothing to do with me being right. There's pe white people who do that rap, and there's black people who do rap. There's Mexican people who do rap. Everybody does it. I think it's it's about like rock and roll. They say where that come from. Didn't come from Elvis, come from black people for him. I believe that's true, but then Elvis did his right. It's the same thing, rap. Rap's just so big, it ain't one thing no more. As far as I'm concerned. What are so you I saying? just don't like it, whatever it is. So even if if Ronald Reagan got up out of the ground and started rapping. Well, they like had it. those rapping Ronnie things already. That ain't nothing. That wasn't really him, Jackie. That was a, a comedian. 
impersonate me. I know that. I'm not saying. I'm just saying that it's been on the radio already. I don't, and I didn't like it. I don't like it, period. I don't like it. I just don't like it. What if Hank Williams and Jimmy Rogers got up, they crawled their way that. out of their graves? No, they ain't doing that. Hank Williams is like, you know what I like now that I've been dead and I'm back? Rap. No. And he started rapping. Well, you're you talking crazy. That ain't going to happen. Now, listen to your rap. That's fine. I wish you'd turn it down sometimes. Sometimes you could turn it down, listen to it, or put it in the phones, headphones, whatever it is. But I, I just don't like it. And it, you like it, that's fine. I know you like it. You listen to that stuff. Most people do. But I don't like it, and I don't want to have to hear about it from a damn senator. I don't care Republican or Democrat. So at this point, you're not crazy about Rand Paul. You ain't crazy about Marco Rubio. I said I like what Rand Paul did. I said I like that one Nova. thing he did. He did one thing you kind of like, yeah. stand up there and talk. Yeah, and he got on the Clintons, got on to her. Yeah. That's good. He could have done, I wish he'd sat up there, I don't know if that, I don't know how it is, what to do up there completely, but he could have got on to her for 13 hours, and I'd enjoy the hell out of that. He could have even rapped it, and you probably would have liked I, it. If, he, if, Hey, if Rand Paul started rapping about how much Hillary Clinton sucks, you wouldn't have. You'd been tapping your toes, going, well, "That's I, a good one." I wouldn't understand what he's saying. It, it'd ruin it for me because I don't half the time people rap. The only thing I can hear are the bad words, and so, I don't like it. Half the rap songs out there, as far as you know, could be about Hillary Clinton. I would it, know. I would. You could not be missing know. out on a lot of good Hillary bashing. Well. I'm sorry, Jackie. It must hurt to be so racist you can't even enjoy it. It ain't got nothing to do with being racist. It, it ain't like rap is just a black people thing that I, that I don't like. That's not what it is. Rap, everybody likes it now. I still don't. Not me. No, sir. Don't like it. Man, it feels like you're filibustering about how you don't like rap music. Well. I think it's been going on for 13 hours. Yeah. Drones, though, Jackie, the drones. Well, that's what Rand Paul had enough, you know. At least he, he brave man stand up there. They can pinpoint where you're at. Hey, is it, 13 stop, hours. Turn on C-SPAN. Yeah. There he is. He's a brave man to get up there and do it. I give him I give him credit for that. Good for you. And then a, even after it was over, they could have they could have gotten him. Because you know he had to, to go to the bathroom. That's what he said at the end. He made a joke. Like, I got to go to the bathroom now. He made a joke. Like, ah, ha, ha, I got to go number one. But yeah. Well, I didn't 13 know. I didn't know. I, I'm assuming that's probably what it is. But, I mean, it could have been number two. You don't know what. He, he didn't say And then they could have given him a CIA. Because he's filibustering the damn CIA director. Yeah. So, they could have dropped from the ceiling, give him a shot in his neck. He has an Elvis stroke on a toilet. Well. And people go, oh, it's from standing up there. Then you nip in the bud, future filibustering, because people go, well, when I sit on it. They'll say what happened to him. What, he sat up there for 13 hours talking. You tried doing that, and you'd, you'd probably yep. fall out, too. And we know what we know what really happened. Yeah. Yep. But they, they didn't do it. They so. missed that opportunity. But keep an eye on him now. So see what happens. Rand Paul, I'll be looking behind my back. You never know it's going to drop out of the ceiling on you in the bathroom. Yeah. Well. I don't understand, no. This is what I don't understand. Yeah. Because a lot of people are calling Rand Paul crazy. I think we did that for a little while earlier in this Everybody, podcast. if you, Ron Paul, you just assume Rand Paul has enough stuff about him. They both seem crazy. I mean, I think they had good intentions, but, you know. A lot of crazy people do. That's true. I want to I wanna give this bread to that uh, man over there. What man? That man standing right there, I'm going to give him his piece of bread. He's been asking for it since, you know, Tuesday. Why? And it is Tuesday. What? The twist. Crazy man. So, McCain says Rand Paul is crazy. Yeah. Like these establishment Republicans. Oh, McCain says everybody crazy. McCain they just... Mad at everything nowadays. Mc McCain thinks if he gets a fruit cup with three colors of melon in it, that's crazy. He's mad as hell. He calling somebody a bad word. This is crazy. Yeah. Throwing it across the Cussing room. Cussing someone, yeah. But they're calling Rand Paul crazy, about paranoid about the drones. But why didn't Eric Holder just say, 
I mean, it ain't paranoid. He asked he Eric Elder, like, are you going to use these drones on American citizens? And Eric Holder is like, um, you know, pro- maybe, probably not. I well, don't know. I, I don't know. If I heard that, and that's what someone told me, I my legs couldn't do it nowadays, but I'd stand up there for Talk. 13 hours. Yeah, the hell with you. It doesn't make any sense. Why would you just not say... It just it shows how shady they are. Like they just brazen about it now. Why didn't, why didn't he give himself... He just left himself a huge opening. First of all, you're talking to Rand Paul. That's like if you were talking to Alex Jones, you think you would be a little clearer. I mean, Rand Paul's just, you know, just this side of it. Why would you not... Why would you leave that huge opening for them to come at you and filibuster and talk? That's shady. That's shady. That's how they are. You think they're getting cocky? That's exactly what they're doing. They said, can you kill you damn right. I'll kill you. I'll drone you right now. <laughs> he didn't now. say that. He just That's said, what, well, how many How many ways you He was like, I, you know, I don't, oh, man, I'd have to think about that. American, American, I don't know. Pearl Harbor, you I know, Pearl I, Harbor. No. I mean, <laughs> Pearl Harbor. Why would he not just say, you know, no? Here's what I think. They're going to do it no matter what. So why don't they just say no, and then when it happens, they can be then like. Then they got an excuse for it. Like, I don't know what happened or whatever. Lie. That's what they're supposed to do is lie. You don't come out and say, yeah, we probably could do that if we wanted to. But but we, we're we not. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. And let me calm you down right here. Although we can kill Americans on American soil. We more than likely are not going to. Yeah. Why would you even say that? Hey, why don't you just say yes or no at I that point? I tell you, it's because they're shady. They're trying to show off. I do what I want to. We'll see if I want to. Obama wants to kill some people, he'll do it. He's a damn president that does what he wants to. That's what it is. Now, we're not talking about drones in the Middle East. No, sir. That is important. Those yeah, well, drones they, are it, doing important it, work. You got drones killing on terrorists, then they that's what they built for. Right well, what about American terrorists that live in the Middle East? That's okay, because you know where they their hearts are at. That's, they know, uh, you know, it's telling people. What if America, they're on a... It's man, town America, like, oh, uh, we, down the street here, we're going to be droning for the next uh, six, seven months. So don't go over and American walks in there and goes over there, then that's, you know, we're getting what he, he knows damn well. What if he's on a plane going over there and they have a drone on a plane in disguise? What? Or that wouldn't, but like if they send a drone to shoot it out of the air and they're on, he hadn't got over there yet, is that okay? Like you know he's going over if there. If he's in the airspace, if he's in terrorist airspace, you blow up any of them as far as I'm concerned. Okay, what if he's getting his ticket at Southwest? Hey, just you, might as well just be patient. If you know where he's going, why would you blow him up there? Just wait for him. All right, is he he flew over? Boom, blow him up. Okay, what if he's in his house in Plano, making his reservations? Reservations? It no, it that, that's why I'm saying he's going that way. It, it just wait for him to get there and then blow him up. Okay, what if he's American terrorist? Uh, but he decides, you know what? I like the weather here in Sioux Falls. And he, he's going to stay here. He's going to stay here. And be a terrorist. Be a terrorist. Well, they, there's other ways to get. They, they arrest people all the time. What if he's a white guy? What well, if he ain't what a Muslim? Mean? Whatever he is, it don't make no difference. If he's a terrorist, he's a terrorist. Don't matter where he comes so from. So you're saying arrest is terrorist. Don't draw me. That's him. what they don't they got we gonna go on trial in New York here. And they didn't even arrest him here. They brung him over here, put him in on trial. Now, yeah, why are they it don't make no sense what they're doing. That's the same damn week. They capture Osama bin Laden's son and drag him into night court when they could have droned him. But I think they're saying, oh, you don't want to strong somebody. Well, look at here. We'll bring him over here and try him. We'll, lawyer, lawyer up now. We'll put one of Osama bin Laden's sons in every city in this country. You don't like us droning. It's just whatever you, if you just get on to him one way, he's going to turn around and give it to the other. He's either going to shove a drone up your ass or one of Osama bin Laden's sons. Yep. You're getting one or the other. 
They'll you bend have, over. Here comes something. Well, you don't like this. Well, how about this? See? Just, just, I think it's just being cocky is what it all is. But Rand Paul, no, sir, he didn't stand. He, he stood up there. He stood, yeah, he did stand, yeah. He ain't going to stand for it. He, he said he would have won or more comfortable shoes. It's a, he didn't even know he was going to filibuster that day. It was a surprise. They thought it was going to be like the Surprise. next day. Yeah, it was supposed to be the next day they were going to have the vote, and they moved the vote up or something. And he was like, oh, I didn't even know that they were, we were going to do it today. I'm doing Ron Paul impression Rand for Ron Paul. Paul, Paul but, yeah. And so he wasn't even prepared. He did. I, like I said, I don't. I, I didn't watch. Thir- I, nobody would. I mean, that's part of it. Who's a dude, the old racist dude? You'd know him. What? Right up your alley. Uh, what oh, was his name? Racist dude. Did the filibuster, the longest filibuster before uh, Rand Paul was. Uh, Are you talking about Thurman? Yes. Oh, Strom Thurman. Yes, sir. That's you. Uh, no, he, he changed his ways on things. He changed his attitude. Like George Wallace. There you go. But right. that's some. Um, I ain't going to talk about him. You don't like George Wallace? Uh, no. Why don't you like George I Wallace? I just don't like him. Because he's racist? No, it ain't. Oh, he changed his mind on it. You got to take a man's word for it. Because of the wheelchair. You hate you hate handicapped people. No, it ain't got nothing to do with that either. Hell. Did you he steal your girlfriend or something? No, good Lord. I just don't like Wallace. Never liked him. No. Look for that face. It's part of it right there, yeah. The wheelchair didn't help that face none. I ain't. I don't got nothing against anybody in a wheelchair, but once he, you put him in a wheelchair, it just made it worse. So you didn't like him because he was racist? No, oh, it's not all that. When that was going on back then, it's just a different time. I can't even remember how I felt about all that mess at this point. You but can't I remember didn't. how you felt about civil rights? Yeah, it was just so much going on back then. Yeah, it was a lot to keep track of. It was. They did have newspapers. So you know, there's a lot of people. Day to day. As a lot of people didn't understand it. A lot of people just had different views. Well, you were raised to believe one thing, and that things are changing, you know. Well, you got that good story about civil rights uh, you always tell, inspirational, when they were doing the sit-ins oh. in Nashville. I don't got to bring all that up. And you would, I mean, you've told this story a hundred times. You, when they were doing the sit-ins, and they were, what, they were on the sidewalk, Right. They were dragged, they were sitting out was it when they were handcuffed and they'd been arrested and you, you would walk by them. I'd walk right on in, get, get, get them something to eat. You'd bring them a sandwich outside? Yeah, I'd bring a sandwich after. After they were arrested. Well, while they they sitting there trying to say... Plus, you were real polite when you'd walk around them. You'd go like, well, excuse yeah, me. Well, yeah, I wouldn't do it. I'd do it. Pardon me. Food. It's my way to get, you know, to show my kind of support. For there's a lot of things. People weren't being treated right in my eyes. And, and you know, when I went in, walk on, just, you know, excuse me. Get, get your sandwich. And I get a sandwich, bring it back out, and I, you know. Share it with them. I, you know, they, some of them, folks been out there all day, you get hungry. You're a regular woman on the bus. Oh, hell. You one brought it up. I don't sit there. Tell it all the time, like you said. I just remember. I mean, Martin Luther King, yeah. What was it? Strom Thurmond, he prepared for his filibuster when he filibustered against black people. He took steam baths to get all the moisture. This is true. All the, all the moisture out of his system so he wouldn't have to go to the bathroom up there. So he was dehydrated when he was standing up there filibustering black people. Yeah. Rand Paul didn't have a chance to, not only did he not have a chance take to a take a bath, steam yeah. bath, at 13 hours, he, I don't even think he brought up black people. I mean, maybe if he had had another 13 hours. He brought up the president a few times, didn't oh, he? Oh, that's true. That's one of them. Yeah. It is funny, after about 26 hours, you're... Your mind has to start wandering. I would have liked to have seen like the 26 hour of this filibuster and see what came out of Rand Paul's mouth. Just just honest observations about his life and memories of grade school. Girls he had crushes on. Yeah. 
but we didn't go that long. No, 13 hours or so. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, it's confused people. A lot of liberals like him. A lot of liberals can't stand the thought of being on the same side as Rand Paul on anything. You now, got the Republicans don't. I mean, if some Republicans like it, some don't. Some, some Democrats like it, some don't. Rush Limbaugh likes him. He's bashing McCain. McCain, old uh, Lindsey. Yeah, they they're like, oh, this is just feeding into to paranoid. Delusions. Wow. That's a, they saying it's the Tim Foyle hat crowd that thinks the president's going to use. I let you know there's somebody right there saying there's nothing to say here. See, somebody up no good, and they just, they, I mean, it has to mean they in, in on it, as far as I'm concerned. I ain't a liberal today that would have not been applauding a Senator Rand Paul if he'd been filibustering. George W. Bush is right. strong. Yeah, every one of them. He'd be the biggest hero in the world. They don't know how to feel about this fella, do they? And who's coming next? If you let Obama send drones around, who we going to have in there next? Some crazy son of a bitch. I just hope it ain't Clinton. You think? If that, if that's, if, if, that may be my time. I may, I don't you, know are I'm you going to go on record right now and say that you will have a heart attack and die on the night Hillary I Clinton don't is know. elected president? I don't know. I don't want. I ain't ready to go when a good Lord calls. He calls you, but if he's going to call me, he might as well call me on that day. That's all I'm going to say about that. Are you used to hate Hillary Clinton, Jackie? We made a lot of videos back when that was a thing we did no. about Hillary Clinton and you hating her. Yes, sir. But after four or five years of Obama, is it five years now? After a long ass time of Obama, a big heaping helping on you, cafeteria tray, uh, uh, delicious Obama dressing. Don't make me sick. Do you? Does Hillary Clinton look better to you? In I retrospect? can't say no. Neither one of them look good to me. Would you no. rather have had a person? No, hell Hillary Clinton? no, hell no. I don't want either so one. So you of them. like Obama? Oh, I don't like Obama. Hell no, I don't. I don't like either one of them. I'm just saying, in comparison to Hillary Clinton. No, it ain't no. I don't even want to sit down and say who's this, who's that. No, neither one of them. No, they ain't cahoots as far as I'm concerned. But they were fighting. She may turn around. He had her Secretary of State. As soon as she gets in there, she turn around and get him back in there. They just tag each other in and out. That's how I look at it, yeah. And then when they're done, they get Michelle, President Michelle. Oh. Put Bill on the Supreme Court. That was a rumor. Remember that? They're going to put Bill Clinton on the Supreme oh, Court. Hell. Nobody did ever get to present a case. When people walked into the room, he would start talking. You think that's a, that? You think Rand Paul was bad for 13 hours? Imagine Bill Clinton sitting up on a damn Supreme Court. They would get, he would talk like for the whole duration of their, I mean, for like months. That'd be a terrible Supreme Court. Yes, sir. Wouldn't want it. So, filibuster. Hold on, I got my list. I wrote this down on a receipt from Jiffy Lube. Fit- to get the oil change? No. I just got a coat. Filibuster, Rubio, Eric Holder, McCain, Limbaugh, John Brennan. These are our notes. Drones, names. drones, drones it looks like I wrote prones. Hey, you might have wrote prones. Did I write lap? What does that mean? People confused. People don't know what Everybody side. just give us a minute to read down here. Figure this out. Um, that's, I think those are the names I wrote down. You're right. These are names, not notes. I, but those are the names I wrote down for the filibuster. Yeah. And then right under that, another important story, uh, Behar Hasselbeck. Oh, yeah, getting changing up. And I tell you what, I always thought Joel Behar just just firecracker sense. I don't agree with her politically at all. Just something about her. Just just Joel flipping on there and see what old Joel has to You want to get up in it? Oh, hell, that ain't it. I ain't going to think that way. I you want to get that up in it? That ain't what it is. Don't turn it into something else. Joel Behar. She broke my damn heart when she went on staying on Arab TV. And something ain't right, and 
Arab TV. What Al Jazeera? She on there now. They bought, isn't she? I don't know. Uh, let me check yes, his, let me check his list. You say on it? Nah, it just says Bay Hard. I don't Hasselbeck. know. If she quit. Whatever. She was on Al Gore TV, and then he sold it to the Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera. Now she on there. But I, you know, some people like that. I don't know if you can. I feel conflicted about it, but some people, I, they own everything. You can't get mad at them for just being on one. You know what I mean? Ain't oh, ever. like in the seventies, Charles Nelson Riley was all over the place. That's right. But I mean, it's the same way now. Anybody talking the news? I mean, unless you own Fox, or something. But somebody those people that talk to people on Fox, Michael Steele, he's all over. Hey, the place. everywhere. Joe Bay, so I don't know if I can hold it against her. Something about it don't seem right to me, but she on CNN, she on this, she on that. She just, you know, whatever channel she want to be on, I reckon. So you don't think it's she's conspiring to I bring don't about know. I the downfall? It. it broke my heart when I heard about it, but I don't know. But I you'd don't still know. throw it to her. Oh, hell. I ain't going to listen to that. But now, you know, I ain't got to listen. I would put it this way. If I want to turn on... I won't be watching the view no more because this time I don't have to hear Barbara Walters talking. Elizabeth Hasselbeck, a rumor is she's getting fired. Fired? They're letting her go. They ain't going to renew her contract, supposedly. The rumor has it, Jackie, that Elizabeth Hasselbeck will not be back on the view either. Well, shaking up that view. Shaking it up. Well, who do you think would be a good replacement for Joy Behar? Hell, I don't know. Some other woman. I don't put Oprah on there. I, you can't just put Oprah somewhere. She's got to sign off on it. You ask me who? I don't know. What people you think like, Oprah wants I, to sit who, on a TV no, show with four other women? No, she don't need this. Who do you want to hear talk? I, you know, women sit on the couch and talk. People watch it. I mean, I ain't saying nothing wrong with that. I just... Sexist. No, it's just what people watch. It's it's on all afternoon. Some woman on TV sitting there talking. I what mean, you, what not, show is that? CNN? No, not talk about the news. It's always some woman come out. Is what I don't know who what her name is. And if I say something, you're gonna say I'm racist. I don't know. A black woman come on. And I don't know what the show is. It ain't Oprah. So. He says the black woman comes out and starts talking. She got a wig or something. I don't know. It's just all sorts of shows in the afternoon. You switch channels and somebody talk. A woman just sitting on the couch talking to somebody by herself, whatever, cooking something. I'm just saying that's part of TV. And, you know, it's just what it is. You don't like that that side of TV. I did not say. I just got finished saying I turn on a view every now and then and what old Joy said. Would you watch a... Uh... Maybe Joy needs a show like that where she just comes out talks. And she don't something. need the rest of them. I mean, that half, half the rest of them get on my nerves. Even the Republican one. She had good intentions, but she ain't helping matters. Maybe Joy and Hasselbeck should go do a a, a two woman show. A Hannity Combs. Yeah, or like some kind of dance. Remember like back a in the days show. when they had Hannity Combs? That was one thing. The show Fox was good. I watch it all the time. Hannity Combs. Hannity ain't the same without Combs. It ain't the same thing. And then Cone went on Bill O'Reilly, him screaming ahead at something, but it, it, it ain't the same. Yeah, O'Reilly Combs ain't good. I did not like it, and, and Combs did not like it. Well, I don't even think Bill O'Reilly liked it. In hindsight, no, yeah, I don't think anybody. But I'll tell you this, this is all Bill O'Reilly's going to talk about for the next six months. Well, he might as well just have him on there. How do you hey. think I did? Did, you, did I do how well? Was I out of line? And all he's going to ask people is how he did in that yelling match. Well, it, it could have been anybody. I'm just saying Combs happened to be on there at the time. Bill O'Reilly ain't screamed, got real mad a long time. If he's going to keep his show on there, he got to do it every so often. So he might as well do it on Combs. He's from Fox. He can scream at him, right? you know. That's true. He's he about does. the only person on Fox. Hey, if Combs, it's, 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 it's his really, job. I don't understand why everybody made a big deal about it. That's Cole's job. He's been working on Fox for 20 damn years. Well, what his job is sit there in little glasses and get it screamed at. You know, old Bill Riley does it. So he works something out. I just don't know why everybody's so excited about it on TV to begin with. Why did Combs even, Combs even acted like he was getting mad? Like, 
How dare yeah. well, you know they plan. That's to like have you're a garbage man and you get mad at garbage. Like how dare you be here for me to pick up it's I the job. It happened don't every call, day. Yeah, he's all, don't call me an old liar. That's what that's what you are. You come on Fox Lie, I scream at you. That's what he been doing. I don't know how many damn years. But hey, they get back to Hannity. You like the way Hannity yelled at him best? I, it just seemed like that was more entertaining to me, something I like watching better than what watching Hannity get screamed at by O'Reilly. O'Reilly good when he don't need nobody. So I like it when he just mad and just screaming. When ain't nobody there with him. He's just mad. raging just against the world. At, yeah, at the, at the camera. He don't need someone to get mad at. Yeah, but Hannity, it does help him. I mean, Hannity is like... Uh, he needs somebody. Him by himself is just... He's Abbott. just Abbott without a Costello. That's it, yeah. Boring. He gets Ann Coulter on there, and there they ain't no chemistry. There ain't nothing. It's like the worst people in the sports bar watching them have sex. Oh. oh I'd there. actually rather listen to them... I'd rather watch Ann Coulter and Sean Hannity hey. have sex and listen to them discuss politics. All right. I don't want to think about that. Hell. You're thinking about it, though, ain't you? No, I ain't. I am not. I don't think about stuff like that. Yeah, Hannity needs somebody, even if it's just somebody to bully. There's something to take an edge off of. Well, he had different people on there, but it ain't the same. He needs a, a, regu- a he regular. He needs a relationship. Yeah. I like it. You know, Combs ain't doing nothing. I don't know what. I must have had a falling out. I don't know what it is. But. Even if Combs just come on at the end of if just Hannity the way it is now, and he comes on at the end of every show, and Hannity gets the fire extinguisher out, it's like, all right, now it's time for me to blast Combs in the face with this fire extinguisher. And- That'd be good. And, I'd watch that. And people, I would watch the whole show, but I'd tune in to the end. Just hit him with fire things or walk over and just knock the hell out of him. Either one. Just I'd watch that. Get a pillar or some kind of beanbag thing. Like, all right, come here and get you bopping. Just slap him in the face or something. Because people would be like, well, I, I know he shouldn't hit him like that. But he keeps him around, so he must be a decent person. It's like Hannity without Combs. Has no humanity. The humanity's gone. Yep. Even if you agree with everything he says, it's like you just want to watch it. Or a pet bird like Beretta or something. Just a little parrot on his shoulder. He needs something. I'm, I'm telling you, it combs what he needs. Come here, Tookie. Like give, him, give the bird a little kiss. And then, that's it, America. Kiss the bird. God bless you. That'd be a good anything. Puppet. I don't know about bird, but hey, they know combs back, that's for sure. A puppet combs. Wouldn't be a shame. No, I guess not. You can't see a, a puppet's pride get hurt like that in the face. You can get a good puppeteer with him. Well, I people. know I ain't putting the but Sure as, you know, one of them people from Sesame Street do something, but it just ain't the same thing. I won't see just it drain out of your face. His color's awful anyway. Well, yeah, it's hard to tell. He almost looked like a puppet already. Speaking of people who look like bloated puppets, Hugo Chavez passed away this oh. week. And then people... Combs doesn't look bloated. He doesn't look bloated, but... No, he looks like he's wasting away, like something's wrong. Something's eating his Somebody insides. Somebody needs to remind me now. Hugo Chavez was a bad guy as far as I was concerned, right? Yes, he was the enemy of America. He was an enemy of America. And I... Hung out with... I'm a Dana Jad and uh, Iran. Right. That just and and you think a kiss each other. It was some celebrity died or something. I got I saw a picture on the news. Now just imagine being at a place like this. It, 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 Jesse Jackson. Yeah. And Sean Penn. Uh huh. Together at Hugo Chavez's funeral. Wow. That sounds like. What was happening on the back nine when Obama was playing golf with Tiger Woods? It's yeah. like what they don't want you to see. They don't want you to see I'm surprised that. Obama wasn't there. It's all his best friends. If he was, there would be no cameras there. I mean, that's like the the big chill of of liberals. Yep. Like Hugo Chavez died, and they all get together. Get Jesse together. Jackson, Sean Penn, Obama, they should have all been there together. Combs. Playing all that hippie music, dancing in the kitchen. Ugh. 
Making pasta and salad. Makes me sick. Makes me sick to my stomach. Talking about their careers. What career? What? What is? What does Jesse Jackson do besides go to funerals? Nowadays, what does he do? I don't. I guess he just goes to funerals. He goes to funerals. He uh. Champagne yeah, in a movie much. every now and then, none I won't see. I ain't yeah. seen nothing with champagne in it. And I don't know how long. What's your favorite uh, champagne? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember any of them. Uh, usually you get mad and turn them off. Is it one you watched all the way through? I can't remember. Maybe one of them. Well, one where he was in prison. He was a young boy then, you know, because, you know, when people are young and talk foolish in the press, you expect them to be. How old is Sean Penn now? 57. He ain't learned a damn thing. He got worse as he got older because, you know, young people are like, oh, I'm this and that and blah, blah, and, uh, you know, right. you just kind of look past it. Well, my he... movie coming out of Shanghai Surprise and I hate Raw Reagan. Yeah. What the hell? But now it's like my movie's coming out and I'm... You know, in drag as a, a killer, and I like Hugo Chavez. Yeah, you'd think you'd have learned. I, you know, it, it, Gangster Squad's coming out, and uh, I'm going to Hugo Chavez's funeral. I don't want him nothing to do with him, huh? And Gangster Squad, he looks like he's in Dick Tracy. He looks like he's a Dick Tracy. He could have been any of them in Dick Tracy. Flathead, screwhead, all of them. Ben Ayers. He could have played any one of them. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but I remember really I liking remember, Ben I Ayers. I remember cartoon old Dick Tracy growing up reading it. And in the movie, it was good except for Warren Beatty. I don't know why you put him in that role. I'd, I'd put somebody else. I always saw, uh, what's his name? I like him, Robert Shaw. That would have been a good Dick Tracy movie right there. But he's dead. He died. they have been dead before he made that. It would have been. Was he supposed to play Dick Tracy? I don't know. I just say I always pictured him, you know, Getting doing the mad. voice. The voice? There's a Dick, what's the Dick Tracy voice? The voice he did getting the shark. Oh. That's a boy, Dick Tracy voice I want to hear. Yeah, instead of him talking to the shark, he's talking to Ben Ears. Yeah. There were any of them fellas. Screw head. A lot of them. I can't remember all the names. Hugo Chavez looked like a Dick Tracy villain. Hoghead. Yeah, Hugh, that's what we always call it. Hoghead Hugo Chavez. And yeah. he did. And everybody said, I don't understand it be like. I don't understand it. I don't understand much in this world anymore, though. It'd be like Ben Ears dying in Dick Tracy and everybody. All the movie stars going to his funeral and Dick Tracy going, well, wait a minute. What the hell? I, I'd put him in jail. You know how many people that man hurt? What he did in this, you know, yeah. Yeah, I don't understand. Criminal. He's, it's confu He's supposed to be a bad guy. Then people talk, well, he helped. He fed a bunch of people or whatever, took over all the electric companies. I understand there's people, when you say, when they're gone, not supposed to speak ill of them, you know, let's focus on the good things. So I understand that when somebody dies, but you gotta fly all the way down there. Sean Penn, how many firemen's funerals has Sean Penn yeah. been to? Oh, they saw Three or four, maybe, tops? And that's giving him benefit of the doubt. Yeah. He may not have ever been to a fireman's funeral. As far as I know. Because firemen... Kick his ass, he shows up. What's Sean Penn doing? Ah. Get him out of here. Yep. I, now, okay, he probably went to a lot of funerals in Haiti. When he was down yeah, there I, helping I, him out, what he, did, uh, he probably of, went to yeah, a lot of... You know, one of them, I'd be a fireman, I think. Probably. Or, you know, what they call a fireman. But he probably... Okay, so good good on you, Sean Penn. Yeah. He was going to a funeral. Yeah, that'd be 24-7 down there. He'd probably dig a lot of the graves. When he was in New Orleans, so he's just making a mess of stuff. He got nothing in the way. They're trying to help people, and there's Sean Penn out there with you drinking, had beer. I don't know, but he's out in the boat. boat full of beer looking for dogs in the dog boat. Yep.
Trying to get dogs in there. Trying to rescue dogs and people. Well, I told, to... I think I told him with that he couldn't, he wasn't supposed to rescue people and he went back out. Well, you can't keep me from rescuing dogs. And they'd people be out there hurt. That's just a Sean Penn made a man. People out there drowning saying, help me. And he said, nope, it's a dog boat. I'm just getting dogs. Get I off of here. Yeah, get off of here. Firemen. Kick them in their face, yeah. That, in his defense, riding a boat and drinking beer through a flood in New Orleans sounds pretty fun. It's, that's a once in a lifetime. Just something to do. It's a once him. in a lifetime chance. Something for him to do, yeah. I mean, I guess that's what celebrities do. They just do. I, do it you every know, today I'm going to take a boat through New Orleans. Tomorrow I'm going to go to Hugo Chavez's funeral. And then on Friday, I'm going to go down to Haiti and, and put up some tents. No, he ain't got nobody tell him. And think, then, it, think it through first. Nobody, and ain't nobody No, you ran. can't say no. He doesn't have an, anybody. Yes, man, he's surrounded yeah. by him. Sounds like, sounds good to me. I'll book you flat. Okay, boss. Yep. So Hugo Chavez is dead. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, who you gonna vote for for Pope? Huh? You made up your mind yet? Who you gonna vote for for Pope? Vote for Pope. Pope votes coming up. They put the chimney up. Oh hell, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Don't nobody know how they do it. It's behind closed doors. No, oh, everybody gets now with the internet. Everybody gets to vote. No, I don't. Hey, you go to popevote dot com or dot what? dot. Uh, EU or something. It's got a European name. Pope vote. Yeah, Pope vote. I don't You go care. cast your vote. One half dozen of the other. I don't know the old same the same of me in there. I not, I wouldn't know the difference. Well, you better do some research and make up your mind. I ain't gonna do no. Well, I don't want to hear you complaining when we get the Pope that you didn't vote. If you don't, don't vote no, for Pope, you got no right to complain. It don't make no damn difference who what Pope's in there. I don't give a damn. I, I don't. I don't believe that stuff. You say that now, but what if they get Pope Sean Penn? They ain't gonna get Pope Sean Penn. Who? Well, who knows? At least they'd have a reason to be in half those countries it goes to then. That's right. Why let is it, Sean Penn it, going to these places and no, the Pope ain't down there helping Haitians? Shouldn't the Pope be down there putting Sean, up a tent? Let Sean Penn be a damn Pope. I don't give a damn. It don't make no damn difference to me. So you don't care. What if it's, it's Pope just Hillary bad, Clinton? So I got to put up a John, Sean Penn in the news anyway. He going to funerals and doing all this stuff anyway. He might as well be wearing a funny dress. Make it at least funny to look at. Of course, he'd change that if he got in there. He spoke. He said, I ain't wearing this no more. Do a Sean Penn way. Well, you got to, uh, Pope Sean. You got to. I, I do? Smoking leather jacket. That's the way he'd be. Yep. And when you hurt, and I just tell me, now I don't mean to, I'm glad, I hope he helps somebody doing all that mess, but when you, you're laid up sick or you need help and you're calling and you see something like that coming at you, you'd just rather be dead, wouldn't you? Maybe it's like this whole Rand Paul thing, how if you hate Sean Penn, but you live in Haiti, and then Sean Penn comes along, gives you a bag of rice and, you know, some duct tape and a pole to get your tent back up, you you don't know how to feel. That's how a lot of people feel about Rand Paul. Like, yeah. like hey, you said something I like, and I either have to hate the thing I used to like or like the man I used to hate. It's confusing. Yeah. It's confusing. People in Haiti be confused already because earthquake and all that stuff. They ain't well, they shook right up anyway. and aftershocks then, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and then Sean Penn on top of it, he just making things worse. But hell yeah, making Pope. I don't give a damn. What do they do? They don't Pope vote. They... They get in a room. They lock them all in a room. I saw Vinci Cole. They lock all of them up in there. And they have to search for the clues. However, That's how they did it in that when they run around town. They put the pieces of the puzzle together. Yeah. And then that's who, then the smoke come up. Like in a, a Nicholas Cage one where he has to get the 
Constitution out yeah. or whatever. National right. Treasury. It's like yeah. the old National Treasury. Of course, that, that's that's, big. that makes a difference. That's America. That, there's a lot of important things they're looking for. As far as Vinci goes, I don't know what half that stuff is. They say, we got to get this. I say, what the hell do you need that for? Like, when they're looking for Benjamin Franklin glasses or whatever it is. It's I like, know yeah, what that need, is. You need to get that. Yeah. Yeah, those don't need to just be floating around on Somebody pawn did, stars. Yeah. He, he, they served a purpose, as far as I can turn. Because at the end re- result, after Vinci Cole going in the room and stuff coming out, I did. Why that? Why I want that? Because I don't know what. Yes, she is. That's Jesus' sister. And that's it. I don't understand. I ain't seen either one of them. I never saw National Treasure or Da Vinci Code. Maybe we should watch Da Vinci Code and talk over it like we did Batman. I don't want. I seen that once. I ain't gonna do it again. And if I ever do it again, I ain't gonna sit and talk on a movie that's four, three, four hours long. I ain't doing that again, Batman. No matter what it is. National Treasure. Did they make a National Treasure two yet? Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah. Oh well, we can watch them back to back. No. If Rand good, Paul, those are good movies. I already seen them. I don't need to see them again. Some people like to watch stuff again. If I see it, I'd retain. You know, watch. I know what happens in that. I don't need to see it. It ain't exciting for me like it was the first time. Rand Paul can stand up there and talk for thirteen hours in the name of freedom. Well, he and had a reason to do it. He had a treasure too. He had a damn reason to do it. We have a reason. I ain't got no damn reason to sit through that again. It's Podcast. A movie. Oh hell.